Hello everybody, how is it going? KG here. I'm gonna talk today about Black Friday. Are you guys ready? Like, are you guys prepared for Black Friday? Because this is almost getting to the middle of October and that's when we should see the deals start popping up for Black Friday. You know, the ads are going to be released and I'm gonna tell you guys what deals you wanna look out for what you want to avoid, and I'm also going to be doing some price predictions. It's a crazy time right now in the tech world. Can you believe we are one month away from next-gen consoles being released? That's right, the Series X and the PlayStation 5 release next month, and I couldn't be more excited for these things. And I know you guys are excited as well because I see it in the comment section. You guys are over the moon about all of this. And if you guys haven't bought a TV yet, man, Black Friday might be the best time to do it. Before we get into all of that, let me just talk to you guys about my channel. This is produced by KG, a channel where we simplify technology and kind of just try to uncomplicate TV terms and really technology in general. We talk about video game consoles as well, and if it's tech related, We'll probably talk about it at some point. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. And if you guys have, thank you. I really do appreciate it all. I see you guys in the comment section showing so much love all the time. And that's just great. So thank you again for all of that. Can't say that enough. Let's get into the video. All right, so let's get into the number one thing you want to look out for on Black Friday. And this is going to be manufacturers' websites. So pay attention to Samsung, LG, Vizio, you know, all the top manufacturers, Sony. And we're going to see what they drop their prices to because their prices will reflect onto Best Buy and other retailers prices so pretty much they match the manufacturer's price and that's just how it's been going ever since black friday just started being a thing <laughs> whenever there's sales the manufacturer's price is usually going to be the cheapest now this is something really important to remember black friday may be on a certain day you know the friday after thanksgiving but Black Friday for TVs starts usually in the beginning of November. Sometimes on November 1st, but sometimes just like a week into November. So stay tuned and keep an eye out for that because that is when the deals usually hit for the big TVs. Now, the TVs that go on sale directly on Black Friday... There's usually kind of a catch. And that brings me to my second thing on what TVs and really what deals you want to avoid on Black Friday. And that's these doorbusters. You know, at a glance, it may seem like a really good deal. You know, $3.99 for a 70-inch TV. But if you're in the market for like a gaming TV... Or just a nice TV in general. I promise you that TV will not fit that need for most people. Now there is an exception to be made. Like if you just want a TV. You know to have a 70 inch TV. And that's really all you can afford. Then go ahead and you know get that TV. But do know that the TVs that do go on sale during these doorbusters. Are usually some really dud TVs and what I mean by that is they use cheap parts usually and they strip out a lot of features they really kind of dumb down the TV experience now you'll notice when you look up these models that there's no reviews on it that is because these TVs are specifically designed to be sold on Black Friday and if you think that's a red flag, you're right. You should be concerned because they're usually not great TVs in the long run. 
I've heard stories about some of these TVs going out in three to four years just because they really try to cut the most corners possible to offer you this price. A lot of times it'll be an older model just with the new model number. And you'll be missing a lot of the new year features. So like if there's a 2020 Black Friday TV, chances are it might not have 2020 features. I'd be surprised to see any HDMI 2.1 TVs on Black Friday doorbusters. I would be really surprised. So yes, that is one thing you do want to keep in mind for Black Friday is that the doorbusters and the deals that seem like, wow, that's really cheap for a TV. Those are the TVs that are usually not that great for what you want to do in the long run. I know that it might seem like a great deal, but there's a chance that if you do get that TV, you're probably going to want to upgrade shortly after that anyway. So it's a good time to buy like bedroom TVs, TVs you don't really watch that much. You know, sometimes doorbusters really do fit that need. But if we're talking about like your main TV, your gaming TV, you definitely want to avoid these TVs. Just avoid them. You're talking about some of the TVs that they sell having really bad response time and just a horrible experience when you game. So that's just stuff you really you don't want to associate yourself with those TVs. All right, so let's talk about the TVs that you do want to buy. And I mentioned it a little bit earlier where you want to check the manufacturer's websites for these TVs. And that's the top TVs of 2020. And in this video, like I said that I'm going to do some price predictions and you bet it, I'm doing some price predictions. So let's go over the top TVs and what I think the prices are going to be. All right. So the first TV I want to talk about today is the Sony 900H. It's already one of the better budget TVs. And right now you could actually get the 65 inch for $969 from Best Buy, which is absolutely crazy good deal for a 65 inch hdmi 2.1 ready tv it's it's just a good deal and it's hard to say if that one will go down even more on black friday i highly doubt it i think that might actually just be the black friday price and that's the price we'll probably see now the 55 inch on the other hand that hasn't had that much for price drop so I actually do see that TV going down to like maybe $800. That is something you want to look out for on Black Friday is if you're looking for a 55 inch TV in that price range, $800 for the X900H might be what you're looking for for the 55 inch. And yeah, we're just going to talk about 55 inch to 65 inch TVs today, just because I do think that is the TVs like everybody's buying. I understand that some people will buy a 75 inch TV and that's also really good. And I just won't be mentioning the price on those just because that would be too many TVs to mention. So 55 inch and 65 inch, that's the predictions I am doing right now. Feel free to do your own predictions in the comments below too. That's really fun to always look at what everybody thinks the prices are going to be. So let's go on to the next option here. And that is the Samsung Q90T. Now this is a TV that I have reviewed and I talk about it and I've done several videos about it. I really do like it and I can personally highly recommend it to you. What I think the 55 inch version of this TV will be, I believe the price will be $12.99 on Black Friday. And on the 65 inch version, I think $17.99 is the price we'll be looking at for that TV. These might seem like dramatic price decreases and something that is a little optimistic on my part but I really think Samsung is smart and they know that people are waiting to buy their next gen ready TV for the consoles that are coming out so I think that they'll make their push to the people that are buying consoles to hey maybe upgrade your TV now at these prices so I definitely can see an aggressive push with price for Samsung just because they do want to get ahead of LG as well. And this is something that 
I personally just fully expect and historically Samsung has been pretty aggressive with their pricing on Black Friday. Right, moving on to the next TV, it's the LG C10. And I honestly don't see a huge price decrease on these. I think the 65 inch version will be about $2,000, even $1,999. And the 55 inch version, I could see going to maybe $1,399. This would be a pretty good price point for LG. Because Vizio's are similarly priced to that. And it's hard to know if Vizio's going to drop their price. Because they just released these TVs. But I imagine if they see that LG has dropped their price. They'll probably drop their price as well. That's just the way it works. And I expect that. I expect about a $200 to $300 decrease on the LG OLEDs. And I think that'll make a lot of people happy. Um... Overall, the TVs that do go on sale, you know, they're going to be really good deals. And you probably won't find any better deals until around Super Bowl time or when a new TV releases. So I highly do recommend if you are in the market for a TV to just grab one in November. The beginning of November is where you see these sales and... Especially if you're in the market for a next-gen console and you want a TV to go along with it. The best time, I think, is going to be Black Friday to buy. And when I say that, I don't mean like on Black Friday directly. I mean in the beginning of November when you start seeing the Black Friday sales pop up. They will go live early on. And I expect a lot of good TVs to be marked down. Well, that's about it, guys. I, I have my price predictions for those three TVs there. And for the Vizio, I, I really I don't know how to predict it. I would say maybe like a $100 or $200 price difference on the current price now if they want to drop the price at all. Um, and for the other TVs like TCL, I expect about a $100 to $200 price difference on those as well. It's really hard to predict what the TVs will be, um, but I do think those are the big three that you want to look out for. I would say the best budget TV is probably going to be that Sony, a 65-inch right now for $969. I mean, you really cannot go wrong with that. If you're, If that's your price range, that TV is really excellent for the price. All right, well, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, give me a like and leave a comment. Let me know what TV you're going to be buying on Black Friday. Or if you already have a TV, let me know what console you're going to be buying pretty soon. I would love to know all of that. And if you enjoyed this, please share it on social media. I really would appreciate that a lot. And just thank you guys. I, I can't say it enough. Thank you for everything. We're getting very close to the 2,500 subscriber mark. So I'm like really excited about that. And I still have the 2,000 subscriber Q&A that I'm going to do. I still need questions though, guys. Give me questions in the comments below and just say, hey, this is a question for the Q&A. And I'll save it. I won't answer it in the comments. I'll save that for the Q&A. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.